All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Today, I wanted to join the update from our Prime Minister particularly because he said those that have been killing us for years without remorse, without um, repercussion, who have it hot this time around. And I know it will be a shock to them that, oh, these people that we kill and nothing happens to us. Now, if we venture to kill them, many things happen to us. Yes, there is always a time, set time for particular thing on earth. The oppressed, the Biafrans, the indigenous people, they have finally picked arm against their oppressors. It's not as if their oppressors dropped their own guns. No, but now they call it guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla warfare in the sense that Nigeria does not want to come officially to fight the evils, but they have been doing it for a very long time. Even as they do it in broad daylight, our so-called governors, leaders, they will not say a word because they don't want it to look like there is war or they don't even want the Igbo youth to pick arms. But we have already followed another way, which is the Prime Minister way, the Simon Eva Agumpankampi. The guy is too much. Wisdom, strategy, he's, he's just there for beer friends. And this has given morale to men on ground because there must be men on ground. In any region you go and you, you don't see men on ground, know that that region is gone. That is why we have them. So just encourage them, give them what, give them what they want, and they will give you results. Intelligence reports here and there given to our Prime Minister, and then we strategize and re-strategize. That is how we are winning, okay? Now, I want us to join this our Prime Minister on this. More information keep unveiling, and don't miss any, please. Update is very important in this struggle. God bless you, dear friends. And ladies and gentlemen of the press who are watching this evening, I welcome every one of you to the tour of Ireland. The Biafra liberation is witnessing what I call a very powerful paradigm shift. The paradigm shift will continue to shift to the best interest of the Biafra freedom. We have constantly warned that those who have killed their friends for decades will not have peace in Biafra land. We have also banned checkpoints. As Biafra has picking up arms for self-defense against those who have killed them for ages, from the military to police to every arm carrying Nigeria uh, uniform pers personnel within the Biafra territory. They have committed genocide, war crime, massacre of Biafrans from 1999 since Wazirike formed the Mossab to 2015, from 2015 to 2016, 2017, up to 2024. Biafra agitators has been killed, murdered in cold blood without nobody defending them without anybody you know holding held responsible for that massacre by the nigerian military terrorist military the military that are now being controlled by boko haram the evidences are there we have seen even the massacre of bia france in hundred in one day unlike what you see today in the northern nigeria where the terrorists from sahel another part of uh, uh, you know, the Northern Africa have entered Nigeria on the invitation of the past uh, President uh, Buhari and his administration. They went to the North Africa and invited them. And of course, stories have it that many of them were brought in in order to facilitate the rig of election, rigging election as they always do. And then after that, they have refused to go back. They decided that uh, their invitation was to tell them that Nigeria belonged to them. So we see them ransacking villages in the northern Nigeria, in the Middle Belt, 
the southwest and even attempted to also ransack our villages in Biafra land before the emergence of the Biafra Liberation Army. This killing has been going on and why the terrorists are killing in the north, Nigeria terrorist armies are in the southern part of Nigeria, the Biafra land, or in the eastern part, the southern part actually because we are not in the east. They are in the southern part of uh, Nigeria, which is the Biafra land, and killing and burning our villages, killing our women, and forcing the disappearance of our young men and our young women. For that reason, we decided that uh, we have to activate the law of inter or international law of self-defense, which means when somebody wants to kill you, defend yourself. And at this particular point, we are facing terrorists with guns, machine guns, the state-sponsored terrorism, or, uh, you know, the state actor terrorism with machine guns. And so for that Biafra to properly defend themselves, we must provide the exact machine gun that they come with. So those who are more tactical will be the one to win. On the, uh, the other, given that no checkpoint is allowed anymore, because we've witnessed over 40,000 Biafrans has been, you know, disappeared, has disappeared through the checkpoint. And in those checkpoints, we've seen where they facilitate kidnapping of our people, from clergymen to businessmen, many who, uh, you know, miraculously regained their freedom, narrated how they were abducted by the bandit just a very close, a very step away from the checkpoint, from the military checkpoint. We all remember the famous bishop also, who was kidnapped one time ago, and he narrated how he was kidnapped. It was just one pull away from the military checkpoint. So we have seen several testimonies where Biafrans have been abducted, and they are, they are called, you know, the testimony shows that even the military, or those who call themselves military, and having in their checkpoint, were also involved in the kidnapping. Where somebody was abducted, taken to the forest, and people who saw it, eyewitnesses, went to the military to tell them that they are there, and they went to, you know, tell the people not to complain. So when those kind of things happen, they share the proceed. We've seen where even those who managed uh, to run out of luck were, you know, shambolically arrested, and they say the military was arrest, arrested for kidnapping. This has been happening in entire Nigeria, not just in Biafra land. So the Biafra government, if they don't understand what government is all about, Biafra government is completely in charge of Biafra land. The de facto government and the government in exile controls the entire Biafra territory. And for that reason, we ban every checkpoint. And when we continue to say, when we ban checkpoints, stay away from checkpoint. Because the day it will happen, nobody will tell you. Anybody crying today that uh, they killed military in Aba, you are an idiot. The people that were killed in Aba are terrorists. And that's exactly what they are. They have killed Biafras enough, and we applaud whoever that did it. It is a military that are infiltrated by terrorists and terrorists that they, they, they are. We have seen the killings of Bia France for many, many decades, and nobody has you know, done anything about the killings of Biafra people. And like we continue to say, anywhere you are in Biafra land representing Nigeria, carrying gun as a military, as a police, as any security agent in, uh, under Nigeria, in Biafra land, Biafra does not belong to you. You are staying there illegally and you'll be treated like a terrorist because that's what you are. This is the order of the Biafra Republic government in exile and the Biafra de facto government in the homeland. We have Biafra defense forces that are taking care of all the security situation in our land. And those of you who think that we are joking, believe me, the time you kill people and go free is gone. We have activated a lot of self-defense to the maximum. And Biafra land will be defended ruthlessly like never before. So those of you who cry and start shouting, oh, military, this military, that, which military? Did you not hear former general, 
T.Y. Danjuma, say, carry gun, defend yourself. If mm -hmm. you rely on Nigeria military, you are all going to be killed and you will die. Yes. He was he was a general. Do you know better than him? He served Nigeria, fought Biafra war against Biafra people. Yet he came out to say, if you do not rise up with arms and rely on Nigeria army, you will all die one by one. Only Biafra people under this government in exile understood the call yes. of T. Y. Danjuma. And today, it can never be wiped away out of the Nigerian history. He is a man who stood up once upon a time and spoke the truth without fear. Today, we understand him very well because we know exactly what is going on. But some of you, the morons, who think you are getting peanut from Nigeria, you think that we are going to sacrifice our people, the life of our women and children, just because you are going to give people peanut. No. We have come out for this freedom, and this freedom we will fight, making sure that those who come to kill before and go free will not come again and kill and go free. And like I said, checkpoint in Biafra land remain banned. Those of you who are falling victim today, you have to be very security conscious. What they want to do is to intimidate you, to instill fear in you by continual enforcing disappearance of Biafrans, abducting you, making video, putting you in a van. That is not going to stop the movement and the liberation of Biafra. If they like, they should go to Abia State, park everybody in the street. It is not going to stop the liberation. And those of you in Abia State, in Aba, we have been warning to stay away from anything military. In both their checkpoint, whenever you see their vehicle, stay away. Don't go closer because these are terrorists. All they do is to abduct you. And if you give yourself so cheaply, you become a victim. And becoming a victim cannot stop the liberation of Biafra people. We are almost 80 to 90 million people. Do not allow yourself to be used as a sacrifice. We are all going to make it to the end. And those of you that are condemning what happened in our back after many years of sharing lifeless bodies of Biafrans on social media, I will only say shame on you. We have just started. Nigeria government is a terrorist government. And what the Biafra Defense Forces are doing now is to target where these enforcements of disappearance of Biafra people are taking place, and we're going to neutralize them. The next target is to make sure we know exactly where they have their weapons. Their armory will destroy everything. You can't, not in Biafra land. If you have your armory under Nigeria, put it, take it in Kaduna, put it there. Go to Lagos, go to Abuja. When you want to attack us in Biafra land, you bring it. But you see, in Biafra land, your armory can never stay. It doesn't happen today, it will happen tomorrow. So when we are saying it, we will tell you, first of all, before it happens. Our target is to make sure we neutralize every armory of Nigeria within Biafra territory. Because that's where the terrorism, the power to commit terrorism, out of terrorism against Biafra people, are happening. We have been warning about Obinze. Because there they have freezer where the body parts of their friends are being kept. One day, they will wake up and Obiza is gone. I swear to God. One day, they will wake up, Obiza is gone. And let me tell you, Musa came out, came out on national television to say that they have adopted what they call um jungle welfare you know what that means it is jungle welfare we have adopted gorilla welfare in some defense they have adopted jungle welfare he said it on national television when a chief a military chief came to television to tell you that the military of their own country have adopted a jungle welfare you know what that means do you understand what when they say they have given him a jungle justice you know what that means 
Juggle justice means that when you catch, when you catch somebody, a suspect who is not even who you are not even sure that the person have committed a crime, what do you do? You lynch the person. That is jungle justice. Now, this military have told you, Musa, it is a record that they have adopted what they call jungle welfare. Against who? Against Biafra people. And you are expecting Biafra carrying guns to um, allow them to so succeed yes. with their jungle justice. Never. Whoever gets each other first, um, you, yes. you know, you succeed. So if they get us first, they are, they have, they are lucky. But we will get them first. And this is going to continue happening until they realize that they can never defeat Biafra with guns and bullets. Never. I told them, if you think that all this shooting gun in Biafra land, blocking road and making checkpoint, instilling fear and asking people to hands up where they are going on their daily uh, you know, uh, activities will bring us down. Believe me, you are joking. The harder you come on us, the harder we go. No, let nobody think that intimidation, harassment, and terrorism will stop Biafra freedom from exiting Nigeria or Biafra from exiting Nigeria. It's, not, it's gonna make us more stronger. So if Nigeria is thinking that they are going to defeat us by gun, my, my brothers, my sisters, they are making a very big mistake. They can never defeat us. The war we are fighting against Nigeria is you they see me, I know they see you. We own the land. You don't know our terrain. We know our terrain. When we strike you, the rest is history. And I wonder why they are not talking about those that Biafra Defense Forces are neutralizing in Nemo State. Do you know how many thousands? Do you know when they deploy 2,000 military to the southeast? Do you know when they go? Do you know that sometimes they say, oh, they have approved the deployment of 1,500? Do you know what they do in Biafra land? They kill our people. They kill our women and children. They came with jungle welfare. They said it. So some of you, when they are speaking this English, if you do not understand, ask somebody to translate and interpret. When they speak, they say they have adopted what they call the jungle welfare. A military who claim they want to protect your country, want to tell you they have adopted. Against who? Against you. Against the Biafra people. And you expect us to allow them to stay in our land, to perpetrate jungle, ju jungle welfare, to carry out the jungle welfare, it is not going to be possible. We will continue to neutralize these terrorists until they are withdrawn completely from Biafra. Our demand is very simple. Withdraw your military. We have now gotten what we call the mandate of over 30 million. Even the president did not get 30 million votes from the entire Nigeria. Do you understand the point? And this is why they are scared of of organizing any referendum because the Biafra people are going to not only Biafra indigenous people in Nigeria are going to disgrace those supporting one Nigeria. That's why they will never support any referendum. Well, we don't care. The government of Biafra have organized the referendum. We are going to pursue the legitimacy. We are going to pursue that this particular referendum that is being conducted. The second phase is ongoing now, after the declaration of the restoration of the independent state of Biafra. Believe me. We will fight Nigeria, fight Nigeria until nothing will remain of Nigeria within Biafra territory. That is the only way to preserve our culture, value, save our life, generation to come, save our women and children like the Biafra Defense Forces have done it up to this point. And I'm very, very happy that Tinubu has officially declared war, but we are going to disappoint him. The way we are going to fight this war is our own way. That is one thing I like about the Biafra Defense Forces. You don't detect what they do. They detect for it. It is our war. We will fight it in our own way. But thinking that you are going to defeat Biafra this time around, you are joking. You must pay dearly for genocide against us. You must pay for the massacre of children that are innocent, that knows nothing about agitation. You must pay for the blood you spilled on the street of Abba. You must pay for the blood of Biafra you spilled at Mpo. You must pay 
for the massacre of Biafra in Iguacha. You know, Bibo, you must pay for forcing the disappearance of over 40,000 Biafrans. You must pay for those who are dying in your dungeon on daily basis. Believe me, you must pay. And this war is our own way. We dictate how we fight it. So, Biafrans, when we assured you that the only thing that will stop this particular calamity from befalling Nigeria is one, they pull out the every military checkpoint out of Biafra land. Two, they respond to the application we have filed at the Banju court at the AU. Three, they claim that I am not reachable, that they, they, they want to negotiate with me and I'm not reachable. I have had that several. So, and I'm making myself available today that only country and only government that will summon me to negotiate with Nigeria for the freedom of Biafra will be Finland. There will be the mediator. And that war is our own way. We dictate how we fight it. So, Biafrans, when we assured you that the only thing that will stop this particular calamity from befalling Nigeria is one, they pull out the every military checkpoint out of Biafra land. Two, they respond to the application we have filed at the Banju court at the AU. Three, they claim that I am not reachable, that they, they, they want to negotiate with me and I'm not reachable. I have had that several. So, and I'm making myself available today that only country and only government that will summon me to negotiate with Nigeria for the freedom of Biafra will be Finland. There will be the mediator. And that is the only thing I have on the table. If it is not Finland to be a mediator, you can never negotiate with me. And negotiating with me is, first of all, pulling out the military out of the street, releasing Mazenam the Kano that you kidnapped from Kenya. You cannot be a kidnapper and condemn kidnapping in your country. You are the leader of the kidnappers. You went to Kenya and committed international crime of kidnapping. And then when I listen to Nigerians who are, you know, gullible, shouting, kidnappers in Enugu, kidnappers in, uh, in Zamfara. Oh, Nigeria. Why should Nigeria do anything about it when they're actually leading the kidnapping business? Do you know how much they spent to go to Kenya to kidnap us in Amerika? Do you know how much they paid in ransom? To people who gave information about Mazin and Dikano, you can see their activities on social media. Today, they change for every day. They say Samanekpa is working with uh, Nigeria government. Samanekpa is working with Tinubu, thinking that when they blackmail me, all these things, they you know they are going to succeed. Where are they today? They are gone. So my people in Ireland and any person that is having the privilege to listen to me today. You must harden your heart. Be brave. Stand before your enemy without intimidation. Speak for the favor and the interest of your people. When they tell you, oh, Simon Akbar is speaking and the army is coming to kill. Is that what you want to be proud of? Do you want to be proud of a system where Simon Akbar will speak and they will go and kill somebody else? Do you want to continue to support the system where people will go and Defend the Biafra land by making sure that those who come to kill them enforce the disappearance of their brothers and neutralize, and they go and start attacking innocent people. Is that the kind of system you want to support? For how long? But this has been the modus operandi of those who call themselves military. When people who carry guns attack them, they don't attack those who carry guns. They go to women, they go to uh, you know young girls, young boys of Biafra, and they start mass arrest. And those people they arrest may never come back. Is that the kind of system you want to support? Why don't they go after those who come to attack them with gun? Why don't they look for where they are to go and attack them? Because they have gone. You go and attack people who, did, who don't have gone? You go and attack people who have not. Is that the kind of system you want to support? If you want to support that kind of system, believe me, that particular system will be your fate. If it is not your fate today, it's going to be your fate tomorrow. Those who carry gun will be will come after you. I am telling you the fact. So our what are we advocating for? 
if you believe that people attack you with gun, remember you attack them first. Remember also that if you want to attack people with gun, you go to those people who attacked you with gun to attack them. Fish them out if you feel you control their fraternity. Go to where they are. You say you are a government. You control the, the you have a state governors, you have police, you have all the security apparatus. Why don't you go after the people that carry gun? Why would you go after innocent people? That is my concern. That's why I can never, ever, ever shift even one, even one step from supporting those who are neutralizing the terrorists in our land. This has been happening for decades. Any place, any time, armed group attack any military. You know, you don't even giving them calling them military is uh, you know, you know, upgrading them. They are terrorists. That's what they are. State terrorism. When they attack them, or the, you will see Nigerians on social media. Oh, the people now is the innocent people now are going to pay for this, and they are validating this kind of impunity. What kind of word is this? What kind of what kind of control is that? They are already most of the people saying this thing are living abroad. Have you seen where a crime happens somewhere? Let us even call it a crime because this is not a crime. This is a war. We are already at war with Nigeria. President Bolatinubu have declared war. Musa have declared jungle war. He say it's a jungle warfare. And you are there somewhere where you live, you know, you know, or your country where you live, and say, oh, the innocent people, innocent people are now going to pay the price. Is that how they handle security issues in your own country? Where just because somebody does something, everybody in that area become a, a suspect. Not even a suspect, you start killing them. That is the system we must resist. And the only way to resist that system is what the Biafra government in Israel is in today to free Biafra from such nonsense, from such shambolic, so from such nomadic system of government where the innocent will always pay because they have made themselves available. That's why we are saying whenever this thing is happening as a Biafra, stay away from military checkpoint, stay away from anything. If you see military, run because these are not humans. They are not there for you. Anywhere you see Nigeria, anybody, if you don't carry gun, no. If you are an innocent Biafran, see military <inaudible> man, <inaudible> carry, <inaudible> run. <inaudible> because all they look for is who to devour. They are not there, you know, to, to protect your right or, you know, you know, uh, know what is rule of engagement. They have no training. You see, the people that they train six months, some of them don't, don't even go to training. They, they don't know what is the rule of engagement. It is complete terrorist organization who wear camouflage and carry gun, you know, under Nigeria state. So we can never allow them to breed in Biafra land. I see them sharing my video. I see them sharing my videos. Oh, someone is taking responsibility. And so what? We are at war. Do you think we see a military in checkpoint? We go and start giving them pure water. They will collect water, water. It's war. And I have said it. Musa have declared war. Is he called it jungle welfare? All these videos are evidences. In case any day they come tomorrow and say something about this, we have evidences that they have declared jungle welfare. And we are in guerrilla warfare. It is war. So kill me, I kill you. And when we kill them and it is public, they start crying. Like I said, no military checkpoint is allowed in Biafra land. If your checkpoint, if you are still standing in checkpoint today, don't worry. Your day is coming. This is what I'm going to drop here. And the only way is that Nigeria must pay for all the killings of Biafra. We have everything documented. And I would like the media team, after this particular outing today, caught those particular annexes we have shared to almost every country of the world, including European Union, United Nations, and all that. They can avoid, you know, trying to know about it to all we care. Nobody is going to defend our land for us. It is us. They don't care. All they care is our oil. They care our natural resources. They care nothing about us. So we are going to do everything humanly possible to make sure that those who kill us before will never know peace in our land. Not why you are in our land. We will make sure we neutralize you anywhere you are until you leave. You are not welcome. Biafra has a government and we even have two governments. The government in the homeland, what is called the Fatu government, complete functional and the Biafra Republic government in exile we will continue to defend ourselves under international law until the Biafra declaration and you know beyond that 
I welcome all of you for supporting this liberation. And may God bless you. Oh, Thank you, Pierre. That one. Ah, oh, Guinea. This is indeed touching. I don't know if you followed us to this very point. This our sister that hails this our prime minister is doing a very strategic work. You know, giving this guy morale and support. Moral support, verbal support, internet support, financial support. Wow, we give it to you, Adadi Orama. Chuku go ziege. Mano no ga jiri kwe ya to chuku o, iwe ro no ake to chuku o kikabi ama. Adadi Orama, you will see something will happen in your life. And in this Biafra struggle, we read this shout, we read this shout, genera e chuku o kikabi ama, and Biafra will come. Prime Minister of Biafra, God bless you. God be with the ministers of the brig. God be with all, all the freedom fighters, all the supporters, all the prayer warriors and all that. Please, we hear you loud and clear. And here we are with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, our Prime Minister. God bless you all.